Hi ho, hi ho, holiday, the best day of the year. Little Matty Groves to church did go, some holy words to hear, some holy words to hear. He spied three ladies dressed in black as they came into view. Lord Arlen's wife was gaily clad, a flower among the a flower among the few. She tripped up to Matty Groves, her eyes so low cast down, saying, pray, oh pray, come with me, stay, as you pass through the town, as you pass through the town. I cannot go, I dare not go, I fear to cost my life, for I see by the little ring you wear, you are Lord Arlen's wife, you're the great Lord Arlen's wife. Tis true I am Lord Arlen's wife, but Arlen's not at home. Lord Arlen's gone to consecrate King Henry at Whitehall. King Henry at Whitehall, oh pray, oh pray, come with me, stay. I'll hide thee out of sight. I'll serve you there beyond compare and sleep with you the night and sleep with you the night. Her little page did listen well to all that they did say and ere the sun could rise again he quickly sped away, he quickly sped away. And he did run the king's highway he swam across the tide, and he ne'er did stop until he came to the great Lord Arlen's side, to the great Lord Arlen's side. What news, what news, my bully boy, what news brings you to me? My castle burned, my tenants robbed, my lady with baby, my lady with baby. No harm has come to your house and land, the little page did say. But Matty Groves is bedded up with your fair lady gay, with your fair lady gay. Lord Allen called his merry men, he bade them with him go, he bade them ne'er a word to speak, and ne'er a horn. Blow, and there a horn to blow. But among Lord Allen's merry men was one who wished no ill, and the bravest lad in all the crew blew his horn so loud and shrill. Blew his horn so loud and shrill. cried Matty Groves. What's this that I do hear? It must be Lord Arlen's merry men, the ones that I do fear, the ones that I do fear. Lie down, lie down, little Matty Groves, and keep my back from cold. It's only Lord Arlen's merry men, a call in the sheep to fold, a calling the sheep Little Matty Groves, he did lie down, he took a nap asleep, and when he woke, Lord Arlen was a-standing at his feet, a-standing at his feet. How now, how now, my bully boy, and how do you like my sheep? And how do you like my fair young bride, who lies in your arms asleep? Who lies in your arms asleep? I very well like your bed, and it's fine I like your sheets, but it's best I like your fair young bride, who lies in my arms asleep, who lies.
Hands in my arms asleep. Rise up, rise up, little fatty crows, as fast as e'er you can. In England, it shall never be said, I slew a sleeping man. I slew a sleeping man. Oh, I won't rise up, I won't rise up. I fear it will cost my life. For you have two long beaten swords, and I have but a pocket knife. I have but a pocket knife. Well, it's true, I have two beaten swords. They cost me deep in the purse. But you will have the better of them, and I will have the worst, and I will have the worst. And you will strike the very first blow, and strike it like a man. I will strike the very next blow, and I'll kill you if I can. I'll kill you if I can. He hurt Lord Arland sore, but the next stroke Lord Arland struck, little Matty struck no more, little Matty struck no more. Rise up, rise up, my gay young bride, draw on your pretty clothes. Now tell me, do you like me best, or like your Matty Grove? For the dying Matty Grove. She picked up Matty's dying head. She kissed from cheek to chin. Said it's Matty Groves I'd rather have than Arlen and all his kin. Than Arlen and all his kin. Ah, woe is me and woe is me. Why stayed you not your hand? For you have killed the fairest man in all of England, in all of England. Lord Arlen then, he did jump up, and loudly did he fall. He stuck his wife right through the heart, and pinned her against the wall, and pinned her again. The wall. A grave, a grave, Lord Arlen cried to put these lovers in. But bury my lady at the top, for she was of noble kin, for she was of noble kin.